Hope there aren't any dogs back here. We are screwed. <gasps> there is a dog. Welcome back, everybody. Seven Days and Tie on Alpha 19 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we generally play on the hardest settings. So in this episode, we are going to uh, do another quest for Trader Jin. I just checked her right before I started the recording. Um, so she's got one that's 800 me and some odd meters away, so not super far away. Um, and one of the things I want to accomplish in this episode is I want to get the rest of the leather that we need to make our fort. So I think we need something like four more pieces of leather. I think we have six back at the base. So let's go ahead and talk to Trader Jin. Hello, Trader Jin. Um, so yeah, she's got this uh, right here. Clear zombies, 843 uh, meters away. So we're going to take like that you one. Handle yourself. Okay. Want to earn some coin? I want to earn some coin. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to... um get radiated good advice <laughs> good advice okay um the other thing i'm still i still kind of have my eye on that orange pistol that she has um we need we need to raise a little bit more coin before we can actually afford it um so we'll see how things go in that regard too all right i don't think we need to go back to the base for anything we've got some food uh some beverage uh, i'm probably just going to actually ditch that and we don't really need to take this with us either. So let's ditch that. And yeah, we should be good to go. Oh, you know what, too? Shoot. We we don't have any blunderbuss ammo at all. And I do I do have that one lockpick that we found. I'll tell you what, let's go back to the base. Since we're going to do that, we might as well pick our jar back up. Well, and our fiber. And see if we can open that safe. We have one shot, and if we don't open it, well, you know, it was worth a try, right? No, nope. okay. Well, like I said, it was worth a try. Okay, so we need to go 800-ish meters that direction. Let's get back over here to our ladder. I don't want to jump down and risk spraining our ankle or something. I'll tell you what, man. This Alpha Alpha 19 is is it's kind of brutal. <laughs> it really is. The zombies are harder, and the game overall is just tougher. And that is okay with me, by the way. I am not complaining about that at all. I think it's great. I think it's great but uh yeah i you know this is what is this episode five already and i feel like we are still really struggling to survive here uh and again that's a, again that's a good thing it really is i'm okay with that even though i'm going to complain about it every step of the way but you know kind of have to do that right oh what do we got here power tax increased chance of knocking down your enemy okay that um that could be something to encourage us to keep trying clubs wait did we yeah okay i sure am happy that a we can find more eggs now and b we don't get food poisoning from cooked food when i first started playing alpha 18 right when it first came out oh you know what we are not paying attention to what's going on here we're going to get ourselves killed let's put our rocks there and i wanted to make actually make some flagstone blocks so let's make i don't know maybe 10 of them because we we can no longer put our land claim block down because we have it actually down for legit right uh so we can't put that down now there's no point in keeping this on our toolbar yikes Back away, back away.
Well, that's a cute little house. All right, here we are. Here we are at the quest location. And there doesn't appear to be anybody in the immediate vicinity other than that cheerleader down there. Let's just double check. We do have that zombie there. Yeah, that's that's a new POI. I don't I don't recognize that. It's one of the new ones. All right, so I have no idea where the end loot is in this place. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, right here. Let's loot uh, the stuff on the outside first. Oh, very nice. We will take that. And I guess we'll scrap those. Okay, so we got finally got some real pants on. Um, if I open this car, is it going to make a shit ton of noise? Guess we're going to find out, huh? See, that zombie's getting a little closer. I'm going to scrap all brass for now. And yes, I know you can get more if you put it in the forge hole. But we've got to mind our inventory space here, so. Alright, this zombie over here is getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, so we have to be careful not to hit too close to our block here so we don't break our own block like we did that one time uh, in episode, I think it I think it was episode two. We should be okay as long as I don't hit right at the right at the edge of our block here. That hit the wood. Yeah, see that hit the wood. So yeah, we just have to be really careful with that. Alright, um, let's get our spear back and that cheerleader is kind of close. She's not super close, but she's kind of close. Yeah, we got a dude over there, too. See, the thing is, is I don't want to be, you know, trying to break in here and have those guys sneak up on us. We can't take all day doing this, though, either. So let's let's take a quick peek in the back. Oh, shit, there's, there's three zombies over there. Dang it. That's not a landmine, is it? <laughs> I'm not going to step on it and find out. I just want to take a peek in the backyard really quick. See, there's a couple of those uh, water jugs that give you the mineral water. I don't see that third zombie, so they must have gone further away. All right, let's go just take a quick peek back here before we start the quest. Hope there aren't any dogs back here. We are screwed. <gasps> there is a dog. Right, there's a Zika right there, too. But what I want to do first is repair uh, the damage that the dog made. Oh, I guess he didn't hit the wood block after all. I thought it kind of sounded like he was. What I might do on the way back is see if we can find a little bit of nitrate and a little bit of coal. And we have these bones that we're harvesting. And what we can do is uh, make some glue and then make ourselves a another blunderbuss and some more ammo. In theory, the backyard should be clear now. Well, clear of dogs anyway. There could be a Zeker in the pool. No, there is not. It's kind of a cool swimming pool. Thought I heard more zombies. Okay, come on, mineral water. 
Yeah, four of them. Nice. Whoa. All right. I think that's about all we're going to try and pre-loot. We have, we have to remember that there's a dog back here when we restart. It's a cute little house, though. It's like a starter house. Okay, let's do this for realsies. Oh, it took <laughs> it took away our platform. All right. Um, what are we wearing right now for shoes? Oh, we still got the cloth crap on. Okay, no wonder. You know, we should probably put a drop chest down. Oh, there you go. We will put those to use later on. There's no grass back here now either, but I don't see Fido. I don't... <laughs> I don't trust this, you guys. Where the hell's that dog at? No, he's not there. I guess it's a random thing, unless he's in the house. We got some more mineral water anyway. Yuck. That's disgusting. That looks like the old Edgar. The, the, clo the clothes. Um, you know, we should probably... We'll, we'll go ahead and keep... our. We'll hang on to nitrate now because we, we want to make a little gunpowder for our blunder buses. You know what? Let's eat this because we got good water to deal with the dehydration that it will cause. All right, guys, let's move on into the house. It is time. This is a clear quest, so we have to kill all the Zika Ruskies in this house. I think what I want to do is make some noise and see if we can get their attention and take a couple of them out before we actually go in. Just looking to see if there's anything under that. That pool actually looks really nice. It's cool. Okay. There we go. Okay. Anybody else? Make some noise. Hello. Jump up and down. I don't have a gun a gun that I can fire. <laughs> what is that uh run buff thing a doodle thing doodle that it says we have max stamina bonus? Uh we, did, did we get that from the food? I think we probably got that from the food. Okay, let's just kind of do that momentarily so nothing can come and jump us Im like immediately. It'll last a little bit of time. Um, and I can't repair that because I left my stone back in the chest. Why did I do that? Uh. All right. Let's uh, loot in here. There's lots of, uh, of the water jugs in here. There's some peas or pears or whatever. What's in here? Another wrench. Okay, good. We'll hang on to that one to make our first workbench when the time comes. That's it for in here. I could take the sink apart with my wrench, but uh, we won't worry about that right at the moment. All right. How about a toilet pistol? No toilet pistol. Okay, we got more clothes. Oh, look at that. A leather duster and cowboy boots. Both of those are very nice upgrades. 
Um, all right, let's take those. Anything in here? Nope. What about here? More coveralls. We already have coveralls on. Overalls, rather. Okay, so uh, I want to take the uh, that crap off of there. And same thing with this one. And this we're just going to scrap because we... Well, these have one more cold resist, but one less heat resist than what we're currently wearing. We're probably more likely to get a little bit colder in the forest bound than we are in the... Uh, or then we will, we'd get hot. So let's trade out these. Um, kind of like that blue though, actually. We'll scrap those. We'll wear those because they are better than these guys. We'll scrap those. We'll wear that. Oh, that's right. We do have a poncho. We found that in uh, the last episode. So we're going to hang on to that for, for the desert. Well, actually... Heat resist. No, the, the duster is actually better than the poncho is. Yeah, that thing has 20 heat resist, so we don't need this at all. Let's just scrap it. Cool. All right, so we, the only, we still have to get rid of our crappy fiber gloves and our crappy fiber shirt, but otherwise we've got, almost got all real clothes on now. Let's modify these and put the blue on. There we go. Okay. We're moving up in the world, people. We're moving up in the world. And uh, everything else we're going to hang on to. We're like uh, three slots over encumbered now. So let's go back out to our drop chest really quick. Okay, time to continue on in the house. I'm trying to see if there was a sleeper. Is that a sleeper there? E I think so. That's a crawler. Okay. Um, there could be a Zeke in that closet there, too. Sort of like a velvet couches. I wonder what they give us. So they give us leather or cloth? Leather. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, we could have somebody in there. Oh, look, we're going to have our first bookshelves, too. Chance for some more clothing. There we go. We got a nice hat there. Nice. Look at all that gunpowder. Take that for sure. Okay. Let's go back and check that bookshelf. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> Or two of them. All right, give us something good. Uh, shotguns do 10% more damage. Hopefully that also applies to blunderbusses, but that's a nice one to find for sure. And, oh, wow, look at that. We already got the triple pocket storage model. That's awesome, man. All right, let's uh, use that. And we'll take the paper. I don't think we probably quite... Oh, you know what? That's not, that is not out of, of reach at all. I mean, we're not going to be able to make it right now, but very quickly, we very soon we can make that. So good. That was a nice find. That was a really nice find. Both of those were, in fact. Okay, let's go upstairs.
Oh, did you see that? He spawned in. He he spawned right in there. That's hacks, man. Okay, he's out of the picture. And those two rooms have doors. But the quest wants us to go through here. Whoops. Can we still move through door frames? Yes. And I hope there's no Zeke's in here. Okay, this is one of those go out on the roof places. Oh, look, okay, we got our first acid and a, th and a third uh, wrench. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We will take that. Yes, we will. And we got a, a steroids that we can pop if, uh, you know, for carrying all this stuff back home when the time comes. Okay, now, please, game, please, absolutely pretty please. No buzzards, okay? Buzzards are not allowed. We don't like buzzards. Just trying to see if there's a sleepy down in there. I can't tell from here. Okay. I like this little house. We could live here. It's a little it's kind of far away from the trader though. But that won't really matter once we get a vehicle. sleepy okay how are we gonna deal with this because we can't put oh never mind we can put a block there okay i didn't need to upgrade <laughs> upgrade that two levels but i wasn't sure if if he's going to be able to jump up and hit it or not, so better to be safe than sorry. There's something going on with the ceiling up there. We're going to have to check that out. Well, while we're still crouched, let's go ahead and get a sneak shot. Of course, we can't hit his head from here. I don't think we're going to be able to hit his head no matter what. So, butt shot. They really made that guy scary looking, man. He looks like he really wants to have you for dinner. Okay, there could be a Zeker in that closet. We haven't killed all of them yet, but I'm curious, what is this? It's that backpack we were looking at from from the roof. Okay. Let's use our wrench. This is the better one. And we're going to take this apart because we'll get mechanical parts and leather and scrap if we take it apart. In fact, for that matter, let's take this bed apart too. we get pipes and springs from this. And this should give us electrical parts. Yep. All good stuff. Hey, another leather duster. And a padded hood. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that we'll probably we might do with our extra glue. Um, is where, uh, I mean, not where, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, make padded armor, and then, then we can, um, you know, have a little, a little bit of armor. 
Okay, is this better? Oh wow, that's a lot better than the one we're wearing. Well, not a lot, but it's better. Okay, this we can sell for 95 coins, so I think we'll hang on to it. We are getting pretty encumbered, but we're getting also uh, close to the end here. Um, and that little indicator thing seems to indicate that there's another zombie in there? What is that thing on the other side of the bed? Oh yeah, there's a Z in the closet. Okay, let's just make some noise. Hola! Come get old guy! Hello! Dude! I'm right here! <laughs> How does he not hear that? What if we do this? Oh, man. How in the hell is he not hearing that? Okay, well, then let's put at least a temporary, uh, some temporary blockage there while we cut one of these blocks away. Where in the hell is my axe? There it is. my arrow back. And we did it! Yay, yes! Alright, return to the trader. Let's go find the fat loots at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully that ammo pile on the floor in front of us will have some blunderbuss ammo in it. Can we just get through here? Nope, no blunderbuss ammo. Okay. Duffel bag with crap in it. I can't remember the last time I found a duffel bag in this game that actually had something decent in it. Uh, we get more pipes and springs and iron and cloth and all kinds of good things from beds. Alright, let's look at the good stuff. Ah, oh, that's some pretty good stuff. And five blunderbuss ammo. Okay. That's actually really good stuff. Um, I might think about hanging on to that now. That doesn't sell for shit, so we're going to scrap it. Uh, we, got some, we don't need that, and we've got uh, some iron arrows again. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. What I'm going to do is work my way back uh, to town... And uh, we won't make it back there, of course, before nightfall. And so what I'll do is I'll probably just, you know, do some stuff around the base um, and try and get a forge going. Maybe even two forges. We have enough leather now to do a couple of forges, really. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll start the next episode by going to Trader Jen and turning in the quest to see what we get and then kind of decide what our next move is going to be from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. That never works. <laughs> All right, bye.